everybody, this is Keith from Indie Comics Relay, and I'm back with another comic book review. Um, before I get into the review, though, I'd like to give you guys a reminder that my Indiegogo for the Mighty Mascots, it's over, but it's now in, in what they call in-demand, which means I can keep the campaign open. So if you didn't get in on the campaign initially, you, there's still time. And we keep adding stretch goals and we keep adding new perks and bonus backers. So um, even on like a 10 or $15 level, you get a ton of stuff. So um, I'll put a link in the description. Check it out if it's something, if you like fun superhero books um, with a nostalgia uh, bent to them, check it out. All right, so this review this week, um, I'm doing a review of a comic called the Dark Gun. It's issues one, two, one through five. Um, the creative team on this series is Matt Durand and Talon Kertulius. Sorry if I butchered that name. Um, but yeah, I, um, I pick up this series. I was a vendor, um, a convention attendee for Massachusetts Independent Comic Expo last October. And um, I was there selling comp my, you know, my series Mighty Mascots. And right next to me was this guy, Matt Durand. And he had um, the first three issues of Dark Gun and uh, two issues of another series called Tunnel Rat, which I'll do a review of that um, down the road. Um, yeah, I got to talking to Matt and, uh, you know, we, we both bought each other's books and, you know, I didn't think too much of it at the time, but it looked, it did look interesting, you know, but, um, I've read all five issues. I got the other two on, he did Kickstarters for him after, um, after mice. Um, so yeah, it, it's really good. It's, it's one of those, you know, independent comic books that you, you kind of buy on a whim and then you are pleasantly surprised with the outcome. Um, the storyline is basically, it's, there's this gun, you know, the dark gun, I guess, for the title. <laughs> um, but it's, it's basically each issue is about how this, this gun, like whenever somebody has it in their possession, it, it uh, basically gives them dark thoughts and makes them, you know, more violent and more aggressive. Um, and each issue kind of follows the gun from person to person, you know, starting in like the old West. And then it kind of goes up through like the civil war and then up to world war one. And then, then the final issue, you get to see it in the far, far future. Um, I really like it. It was it's it, each issue kind of stands on its own, so you don't need to read all five of them, but all five together is is you know a nice little treat. Um, the art's very cool too. Actually, I gotta say, Talon ta uh, does a great job. It's kind of abstract, but um, you know his storytelling skills is very good. Like I like there's certain panels he does where like it's almost cartoonish but then it becomes like really like realistic and I gotta say most of it um I really liked there was a few um pages where sometimes I, I had a hard time following the action but other than that really great find um these two guys are really good I'll have to try to get Matt to come on our show at some point and uh talk about this series and uh and, uh, you know, making indie comics, um, in general, but, um, yeah, it's, it's one of those books. I read it and I, I definitely see, um, the writing is so strong that I definitely see Matt getting picked up sometime down the road from like a small publisher or, um, you know, like even, you know, working <laughs> one of the big publishers at some point, um, but yeah, definitely check it out. I, I, I'll put a link to Matt's website in the description where you can buy it. And I believe Dark Gun and uh, Tunnel Rat are both on Comixology. Um, 
I think the real shame is I can't, I, I from the way number five left off, I don't know if he's going to do any more issues, but I could see this book going on, you know, going on and on, just following the gun from person to person. And you could just tell kind of different stories about violence and gun violence and, you know, but the great thing about it is it's not preachy at all. Like I, I didn't feel like it was a pretentious like message being shoved down my throat. So that's always a great sign as well. So this one comes with uh, my highest recommendation. I would say support these guys if you like indie creators. Um, and like I said, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see this come out from a, you know, like a, um, an action lab or an IDW at some point down the road. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, give Matt, give, give Matt some love. He's on Twitter too. And just check out this series. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this week. Um, me and Johnny will be back live, uh, next Wednesday. Um, I think we're lining up a couple guests. I, we're either going to have Terry Mayo from Alterna Comics, who's done Wicked Righteous, or we're going to have um, a new comic company that's doing digital comics uh, for the indie crowd. Kind of like a comicsology, but more focused on indie, independent books. I forget the name of the company off the top of my head. but um, So yeah, come, come join us. Uh, check it out. Um, all right, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later and see you next week. Bye.